here with LSU Screen Arts, and we're doing a series where we interview different people in the industry about their jobs to get some insight on what we could be uh, doing in the future. So my first question for you is, how did you get started as a talent agent? Like, what were you doing before? How did you get involved with Gravity Artist Agency? So it was actually my kids that got me into the business. Both of my kids were stage actors, and they made the move when they were around, they are around sixth and eighth grade from um, stage to film and television. And that's what brought us out to Los Angeles. And really it was just a progression of learning the business and their agents and their managers saying, you know, you're so knowledgeable, you're so good at this, you should be an agent. And so I kind of started to make a plan when they got older and they had their own team that I would go off on my own. And um, I worked with another agency for a while. And then um, I opened Gravity Artist Agency, which I own and operate. What does a day in the life typically look for a talent agent? There, there can be some similarities. I mean, it's there's a difference if you were an intern or if you were a developing agent or, you know, or you were, you know, you were already an agent. So like, let's say if I was hiring someone just from the ground up, um, they wouldn't be closing deals. You know, what they would be doing is they would be sending out auditions, but they would also get an opportunity to look at the breakdowns that come out from the casting directors, which are dropped every day from the producers and the directors on projects. And you just are, you're slowly learning what it's like to develop talent, what it's like to um, understand the industry, understand the regions. Gravity Artist is a little bit of a unique niche because even though our offices are in the Southeast in New Orleans, we represent talent across the world. So we get the breakdowns from everywhere. So I have talent in LA, I've got talent in uh, Europe, I've got talent all over. So everybody's got a special need and a special niche of where they can book and each region is different. So it's really exciting because it's not just simple. You know what I mean? And it's an ever-changing business. You know, as you guys all know with COVID, how you're being educated right now is a completely different business and how you're making friends and you're networking. And that's happening with us as well, because we're doing it like we're doing right now. So we also, there's a whole nother developmental stage of teaching the talent, how to do an audition like we're doing right now with callbacks and to tape. Everything is being uh, booked off of tape right now. So it can be, you know, all the way from the ground floor to learning to how to close the deals and uh, pitch, your, pitch your talent. To like start working as a talent agent, what do you think would be the best route to get started in that? I would say intern at an agency to make sure that it's right for you. Um, it's hard work, it's long hours, and there's really not a nine to five job. So I would say intern, intern for six months, um, see if it's right for you. And if I know it's right for you, I would then probably offer, why don't you come up into the assistant level and assist me, assist me for another six, another six months. And then if we can see that you have the ability and the talent to develop talent, pitch talent, all of that, that would be the steps that you would need to take. It's really, really hard to just come in on the agent level unless you really have the knowledge and experience. But, you know, college students are just so savvy. I would say another outlet is if you have the ability to do social media, that is a huge resource that agents like us need that don't have time. So you might wanna come to somebody like me and say, hey, Julie, I would love to run your page for you. And along with that, could you intern me and start to get me going? And the answer would be, heck yeah, I would absolutely love to do that. So what is your favorite part of being a talent agent and like the casting process? My favorite part about being a talent agent is calling the talent and tell, telling them that they booked the job. That's the absolute tears and fun because it's, it's so hard to book the job. It's so competitive and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's helping them fulfill their dream. Um, from the casting side of it, I don't cast. I just have to be really great at knowing what casting wants, because for me, really, my job is to make 
casting's life easier. It's my job to bring the best talent for that role and make sure that my talent is going to give them the best tape so they can book that role. The casting side is a whole different area and I'm on the other side of it. Mm -hmm. So I work with casting directors on a daily basis because we're talking about our talent and who would be right for it. And of course we're, you know, closing the deals on it. Um, but um, I think I would say from an agent's point of view, networking, having great relationships with the casting directors, especially in a niche like New Orleans where there are very few. Could you walk us through kind of what the typical casting process looks like? I have a talent and they're going in for an audition Mm -hmm. and they're right for the role. We send the tape in and then on the casting side of things, Casting, um, they'll for one role, they'll decide how many talents they're going to see for that role. And it is a really huge amount. It can be anywhere from 300 to 2000 that they're seeing for that one role. So they have a really hard job. They have to go through all of these tapes to narrow it down to maybe 10 that they're going to send to producers, might be three that they're going to send to producers. So on the casting side, they're given that breakdown. They have the insight of what that producer and director really, really wants and really wants to see from that tape where I might have met that breakdown, but I don't have the inside scoop on the other side of things. So casting director's job is to bring that best to network to producers and directors. And then what happens is if they feel that person is right, they'll email me and they'll ask for the talent's availability. And I'll say, yes, the talent is completely available for those times. There's no conflicts or vice versa. They have a conflict and we call it, they send the tape upstairs. And that means they're sending it to network. And if network approves them, then I get the offer. What advice could you give up and coming filmmakers, up and coming casting agents, anyone who's interested in interested in getting into the industry. Um, for filmmakers and writers, just write every day. Do your own stuff. Film your own stuff. Get your group of actors together, and same with actors. Just make your own. Make your own stuff. You know, make your own stuff and then try to sell it, try to sell your scripts, you know, do your indie, do it as a short and try to get, um, try to get money to get it made into something else. So keep your creative stuff going, keep that going as a um, student coming out of university or anyone who wants to get an agent, my hugest recommendation is really have all of your ducks in a row before you submit to an agent. Have a wonderful headshot. Have media and reel and all of that together. If you're a little kid, it's different. But if you're an adult and you don't follow the directions when you submit and you don't have all of the information there, it's a little bit of a turnoff. I need you to look very professional. And if you can't do that, I'm wondering if you can do the rest of it. Um, So don't submit until you're ready. That's a really important tip. You may feel that you're ready, but if your materials aren't ready, they don't reflect that you're ready. So make sure that you, no snapshots in your car, kids. We need, you know, professional headshots and do a really nice um, scene with a scene partner or a beautiful monologue that really meets who you are and really uh, put your PR package together really, really well. And that's going to make you stand out. And you know what, if somebody, if 500 people tell you no, somebody's going to tell you yes. So just keep, just keep at it. Just Mm -hmm. keep at it. That, that right opportunity is going to come along. Thank you so Great. much for joining us. You're um, welcome. It was really nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you guys too.